generative AI is coming to Premiere Pro mm, in video over. format. That will change the game, bro. I, I know. Like. I can't wait. I can't wait. Um, okay, so you're rolling out this new album. I guess With It is the first release from that. If people follow you, they would have heard With It like a year ago on fucking YouTube. Right, right, right. Um, from this video you did in India. I didn't know that was in India. Um, so, okay, so your new release is about to come out, I think, on August 7th. Right. Twitter. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've heard that one on YouTube. Is that a brand new song or has that been a the demo? The demo's been out. That's it's, been out? It's, it's okay. one in the New York studio. That was before the name got changed to X. Yeah, right, right. So I kept it Twitter. Yeah, yeah I kept it Twitter. <laughs> not, the song's about Twitter, not X, dog. That demo hits harder than, like, the video we spent money on. The free video mm. had so much more emotional value. It matched the song. It, like, evoked in a, a feeling. And when we tried doing a bigger... It's a learning lesson, right? Like, when we tried doing a bigger, like, cooler robot, whatever, whatever... Um, it's it was a little humble. My I was a little humble than the result of it. It still looks cool. I think it's sick, but something about that demo. That's where I guess the demo has that power. It's like it's so much. It's no thinking. It's so like just me doing the whole creative process and almost with the lack of resources, you know, making it the best I can. I don't know. I, I, it's funny. I, when you reference the demos, your main uh, perspective of them is that they're not on platforms and yeah. the songs themselves. And when I think of demo, I'm thinking of the video. <laughs> you know what I'm You're thinking of the video. The video for some reason. Like, yeah. That's that's my relationship. That's part of that. it. That's like the package of it. That's yeah. That's but like that's why I made it. The song almost. Do you know what I'm saying? In a weird way. Not that specific video, but like, to make a video. I'm like mm -hmm. I'm like soundtracking some shit that I'm about to go make. And um, that's just a filmmaker in me. The yeah. excitement to make a video is why I make a song. Which is like, yeah, I don't know. And I don't know what that means. And I'm trying to learn actually to do the opposite because I want music to speak on its own. That's like my learning curve. How did you, how, what did you fucking use to make the Giants? Was that AI? Oh, so or that, like, which, that yeah. I didn't do. That was the first time we hired, we had budget. That was yeah. that was the only VFX I've hired. Actually, one more, I think, in amphetamines. But um, it's this group that did like the VFX for Get Out and shit. The movie? Yeah. Okay. And uh, they did. They just like gave us a crazy deal. But then it's funny, random shit. We hit him up later to do some VFX. Like, sorry, we only do deep fakes now. Deep fakes? Yeah. What? I'm like, I want to know Who what type of shit they're on. For? That they get money like Joe that? Biden. That's bro, they're, some... they're doing. They're doing it for the White House. That's but... what they're fucking doing it for. My fellow Americans, I won't miss words, so here it is. Fuck you. That's some scary <laughs> shit. I'm like, our VFX guys, like, we only do deep fakes now. I'm like, the more I listen to it, I could picture a visual to it. I'm like, oh, I could, I could make this mean something. And it just became a release for myself and, like, a relationship with myself and a way to understand myself in a way that I didn't expect because film is such a big like a bigger thing and music was much much more immediate and um it allowed me to do everything from start to finish from, from producing to editing and shooting the final draft I just do it all by myself and um I don't know I, I guess like something about that just gave me a high so I kept doing these the, little like demos. The creative process. The creative process, the whole thing just gave me high. Wait, 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 wait. So can, wait, can you explain on why the demos? You said because it was only a minute long? Minute long. Instagram videos were minute oh, long. Oh, because Instagram was only a minute. Only a minute long okay, back okay. then, right? So that's the only reason why I made minute long songs. And so, but the whole point of doing this was to avoid the work of the real editing I needed to do for my production company. Mm, but you see, you see even now they're like, with how the climate is now, like you, you, all you really need to make is like 15, 20 second reels or something. So they're like, don't even right. waste money trying to make a whole music video. Right. Just pick like 15 seconds of it. So I guess to give you more reference, our pressure company got bigger and we ended up moving to a huge house in one of the hills. Like we started getting like sets, like had a guest house, the studio, like shit was going well. The video shit, you know what I'm saying? It's, and it, you're just doing music videos. Music videos, okay, right. Yeah. And we throw events and shit too. We do a bunch of other shit. Uh, our, our thing was called The Floating Condo. And I miss I miss everybody dearly. I miss the crib. But, you know, shit gets weird when you work with a lot of people after a while. And when COVID hit, business was bad. Like, it was like, it was down bad. And I started taking music more serious. I just gotten out of a really fucked up relationship. Unemployment money started buying mics. Bro, that's, that's how I started my podcast. I got the unemployment money. Yeah. Built a studio in my backyard, bought all this equipment. Like, Facts. I started my podcast in 2020 at the height of the pandemic when everybody's scared to even come in contact with people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm selling weed and doing podcasts. Right, <laughs> right, right, right. right, right. Like, yeah, hey, you got to do what you got to do. Think I miss COVID. <laughs> like, I miss unemployment checks. I miss being locked away in this beautiful house I had in the middle of Woodland Hills. Like, I was posted. But yeah, that was a really nurturing moment for me to like really lock into my music because I didn't have clients to film. Cause I live with a bunch of filmmakers. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna do it myself. And I kept doing that. And then um, this is a story of how I met Marcos. 
So Marcos is uh, my co-director. He he directs most of my videos and shoots them all. And he's like, without him, like I wouldn't have like gotten as cold as I did. But okay. he um he didn't edit. He just shot. He just started getting in his bag, and he noticed when he moved in that I was shooting myself and finishing these videos. And he's like, Yo, bro, I need to practice. Let me shoot you. And we did that. And like one of the like the second or third thing we made was anecdote. <laughs> like mm. the first minute of that. That's before I got signed. It was the first minute. Of oh, that. so there was a minute demo version of it. Right. The first minute before the okay. balloon pop or after the balloon pops, before the Giants, that was the OG demo before I got signed during COVID. Mm. Like that was one of so those the demos. Giants weren't in it. No. Okay. That's after I got budget. I was like, fuck it. Let's start that Giants in there. You know what I'm saying? Like, what? yeah, I guess our business was kind of going down and because of COVID. COVID, whatever, whatever. End of COVID. By the time we were about to separate and move out the house, this indie label pops up in my like DMs and a manager at the same time, around the same time, wanted to work with me because they found my demos. It's like, yo, what the fuck is this shit, bro? Like, let's turn into an album. And my label specifically was looking for South Asian talent because that's like a new market. You know what I'm saying? There's not, there's not. Are a lot you of South us. Asian? Yeah. Is that what Indian In, is? Indian is, yeah, Indian okay. South Asia. And at that moment, they signed me for an album, and I was taking so long overthinking it. Like, when is this finished? When did I made? When have I made like a great song? How do I turn this minute into a song? And that was the first example of that me turning that into a full full minute. Um, and it was really hard. I don't know why. I don't know why. I was just, I'm such an overthinker and such a like, once that, once there's like pressure involved. Whereas before it was just free release. It was, it, before it was me avoiding the work I needed to do. I was avoiding my music video work to make a song in my own video and then go back to it. My clients were like, what the fuck is my video, bro? You just posted on Instagram at 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like uh, my fault, dog, it's coming. I just need to do that. Um, but yeah, I kept, I kept doing that. I don't know, but my, my skill is visuals. I'm very confident in world building. I do want to make movies. That's like kind of an end goal. Not even an end goal, it's amongst my goals. And I, I'm inspired by like the Gambinos, like just the world building he's done and you know, the Tylers and all What do the you mean people. by world building? Like I don't know, like like make make things feel more like an experience. Or like when things like sometimes the best things happen like when something goes wrong. Like True. something will go wrong and you'll have to like in the moment find a new way and sometimes it'll just be like the coolest shit mm -hmm. even on filmmaking so like you moved from florida because you didn't want to go to iowa yeah to go filmmaking like like filmmaking or like art stuff i almost feel like it's better not to go to school just yeah. like yeah. throw yourself into it and like find your style and like i mean these days on youtube you can find the techniques and film schools there yeah, yeah yeah how to like really do what you need to do as far as technique wise but i feel like the when you're doing creative shit the most important thing is to find your style and you can't do it the only way you can do that is just by doing it just trial and error. Sometimes it can slow you down going to school. Like you <coughs> might facts, be missing facts. out on shit. You're in class, but you, you should be up here creating shit. Right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly. That's that's exactly what's happening. I think, like, the only compass I've had is taste. Like, I have a decent amount of taste to make me a good artist. Like, like, like we said, your skills don't always get better. Yeah, and, yeah. and our resources are always there. But, like, yeah, taste and the style develops over time. But also, like, you can't find it on all platforms. Like, it's on, like the only way you can listen to that song is on YouTube in that video. Right, 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 right. Until I, like, drop it. Like, what it, I had out last last year. Yeah. Around March when I went to India for some shows. Oh, that I, was in India? That was in India, I yeah. Forgot. I like how you just decide. No, I like how you cut to, like, in the middle of the video, you just cut to, like, the street and then you hear, like, the sounds India, and yeah, shit. Yeah, it's, like, yeah, cinematic. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, bro. Yeah, you, for some reason, bro, I mean, I hate to say it. My label hates when I say this because when I told them this, they were pissed. That demo hits harder than, like, the video we spent money on.